welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary. Today I wanted to share with you how I gave our back deck a little bit of a refresh to get it ready for the summertime. So we have this really awesome oak tree. It's huge, it gives so much shade to our deck, but in the springtime it drops a ton of pollen. It makes sort of like a green dust all over the flooring and the furniture, and I just really needed to get all of that cleaned up. If you were around my channel last year, you may remember that I completely refinished this deck. It was really old, like 25 year old stain that was just really faded and needed a little, you know, a facelift. So I power washed the deck and we stained it and painted it and it just looked fantastic last summer. And now here we are a year later and I'm kind of seeing how the stain and paint have held up and overall I'm really happy with it, but it's just that green dust, that green pollen that really needed to be cleaned off and taken care of. So I invite you to come along with me as I clean up and decorate our deck for the summer. washer is by far my most favorite outdoor tool. It is just so satisfying to see years and months of dirt and grime just completely go away within minutes. I did need to go over our deck twice to get rid of that stubborn pollen after the first pass with the power washer and it kind of started to dry I realized it needed to be done again so a couple turns with that and pretty much all the pollen was taken care of. Did you know that you can also power wash your outdoor cushions and outdoor rugs if you have them? I actually did this last summer and I power washed all of the cushion covers and just got off years of grime and it was so awesome to take care of last year. I would do it again this year, but we're actually having a little family get together and I didn't want them to be completely soaked because they will really absorb all the water and it took a couple days for mine personally to completely drain out, especially the couch ones. So if you have just the seat covers, they do drain pretty quick. You may think you need to replace them, but I promise you, if you give them a pass with the power washer, you're gonna be surprised at how clean they come out. I had a bunch of little random pots of flowers that my kids gave me for Mother's Day and they were kind of outgrowing them. So I just consolidated them into a couple larger pots that I already had on hand and hopefully that will give them some space to continue to grow. Like I said, I painted this deck last summer, but I definitely noticed a few nicks, mostly where like furniture had been dragged and relocated. So I just went over those couple of touch up spots with some of the paint that I had left over and my little helper here helped me as well and just did a quick little touch up of those little spots. outdoor string lights out here years ago but they've all since died so I wanted to replace them so I headed to Lowe's and actually checked out all of their outdoor lighting and I found this set they are actually LED and the bulb covers are plastic and they're very water resistant so perfect for outdoors so I strung those up and they just look so cute at night they add that perfect amount of ambiance and gives you actual extra lighting that you need but it also just looks really charming 
At Home Goods, I found this wire hamper on clearance and I thought it would make a perfect outdoor trash can. So of course they took out the white liner and then just put in a trash bag and it works perfectly. It's wire and it's heavy so it will definitely stand up outside. And if we're not having any kind of get togethers or needing a trash can, I can always just use it to hold outdoor toys for the kids. I also picked up this lovely set of citronella candles, which will again add ambiance at night when we are on the deck, but also of course will help to keep the bugs at bay. With summer in full swing around here, I am just really excited that I tackled this project and got it cleaned up. Yes, I am totally in nesting mode and just wanting everything to be ready for when baby boy arrives in just about a month. About a month we got left and I just want everything to be ready so we can just sit back and enjoy it when he's here and I'll have to have these little projects lingering, you know, kind of hanging on my shoulders. So I was really glad to get that done and hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and seeing the process. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, bye.